Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial and today's video is the last part of the menu bar uh, videos, menu bar lessons ok so we're going to review uh, um, another uh, features of this menu bar, how to invoke, invoke methods when clicking on the options inside the menus ok so let's go to the slide here ok so here's the slide ok and first of all well we're going to learn how to add a listener to one of the properties inside the, the menu items we're going to use uh, well the, the object in this case the check menu item here and then we're going to uh, add a listener to the selected property remember the selected property uh, will tell us if the um, if the option is selected or not and when we are going to add a listener a change listener okay to this property and then we're going to learn how to set uh, how to define an action when you click on a, on a menu item in this case a radio menu item we're going to use the method set on action you know as the same as in the buttons in order to execute you know uh, some lines of code when clicking on this uh, of the on this radio menu item and also we're going to learn uh, another ways to call or to invoke the options inside the menu or to open the menus the first one is the key in uh, mnemonics and as you may know the when you click on uh, sorry when you press the the alt key plus another character inside the keyboard uh, you can open a menu okay and then you can navigate through the menu by using the uh, the arrows in the in your keyboard and also we have key combinations or shortcuts okay when you click control and another character in the keyboard you can activate one of the options inside a menu okay so we're going to learn how to to do that okay so let's go to netbeans in order to review this here we are in netbeans and well we are using the same code uh, but we are adding uh, um, uh, more lines of code in order to explain uh, today's topic okay so the first thing we're gonna learn is uh, how to add the mnemonics and in order to do that we need to uh, to add the underscore character as you can see here before the character okay that we want to use as a in the mnemonic for example in this case for the menu format inside the this is the label or the title of the menu and we're gonna add the underscore before the letter F so this means that when I click uh, Alt plus F uh, character, F key, uh, this menu will open. Okay, so this is the first step, and the second step will be here with the format object, with the menu object, and with the method set mnemonic parsing, we're gonna set this to true. Okay, this will allow the application or the menu to use the the key, these key combinations in order to open the menu and I'm gonna show you right now this is the application and we have the format menu so when we click uh, when we press over with the alt plus alt plus the F key the menu will open okay you can see here and then we can navigate through the menu by using the arrows in, in our keyword okay so that's how the mnemonic work, works and you can set as you know, set the mnemonics for yeah, whatever menu you want. Okay, so then I wanna uh, just mention that we're defining a text node, and this text node we're going to modify it uh, by using the the options that we have in this format menu. Okay, so then we have these three check menu items: these three here, bold, italic, and underline, and we're gonna now how to uh, learn how to define the key combinations. The key combinations are the ones that you can see here: Control plus V, Control plus I, and Control plus U. Okay, this means that when I press the, those keys, those combination of keys, I'm going to activate those uh, uh, options in the in the menu. So in order to define this combination, we need the object, the check menu item the object here then with the method set accelerator inside of it we need to pass a new instance of the key combination 
class or an object of the key, com the key code combination. Sorry, this class, and inside of it, inside of its constructor, first we're gonna pass the key code, and the key code is the the uh, the character that we want to use in this combination of keys. In this case, letter B. As you can see here, you have several options here in this list. You can select one. And then we're gonna pass the key combination and always pass the shortcut down value, this one here. Okay, we use this shortcut down value because um, it will make that all um, um, that in different operating systems the key combination is the same. Um, I mean, you need to press Control uh, B uh, in Windows or in a Mac. Okay, it won't change. If you use another combination, there might be problems with uh, different operating systems. So always use the shortcut menu. And in the I don't know in Mac you use another control different uh, another key sorry different than control. You just need to press that that key and the and the code here which is letter B and the option will be activated. In Windows we know it's control. Okay. So that's how you set a shortcut or a key combination. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, we will press Control V, and this text will be bold. Okay, Control V, and this text will be bold. Okay, Control I, we will, we will apply that for my italic. And Control U will underline, uh, you know, property will be set to true. Okay. Okay, and if we click on the menus, it works as well. Okay, so that's how you use the key combinations. Okay, now we're gonna learn how to use the add the listeners for a property of the. In this case, we're gonna add uh, listeners to the check menu items. Okay, every time the selected property here of the check menu items uh, changes. Uh, something will happen, and this is the logic. The logic that that you need to add, uh, whatever you need, you want to happen when clicking on the option, or selecting or uh, the option. Okay. So, well, we have the, the object, the check menu item, and then we use the selected property, which is one, this one here, and then we use the method add listener. We are adding a change listener. Okay, and then um, inside the method uh, changed, we're gonna add the logic and the code that we want. Okay, so it is important to mention that in order to know what's the new value of this property, we have these two uh, values here, the t and the t1. t is a value, is the old, the old value of the property, and t1 is the new value. Okay, so if you select the uh, the option in the menu, the new value will be true and the old value will be false. And the other the other way around is the, if you don't select the, the the option. Okay, and you can use these two you know these two values inside the code in order to check what the what what the, the change was. Okay, so that's how you add a listener. Uh, I will show. I will share with you guys a link where you can download the code and take a look at, at it and analyze it. Okay, I'm adding listeners to these three three options here. Okay, and then inside the submenu font we have two fonts. Okay, and we are, you know, adding a method inside an event handler in, for these two radio menus menu items. Okay, how you do that? The, uh, you use the object value one, and that set the method set on action. You add an event handler and inside this event handler, in the method handle. Okay, you add the the logic that you want. Okay, so for example, I can click on this font, and the font of the text will change, or I can click on the other font, and the text on the on the of the font will change again. Okay, this is a toggle group, so that's why only one can be selected. Okay, so that's why 
I'm adding uh, the logic inside a set on action because only one can be selected and I only need to activate the action when I click on the on the on one of the other option okay and also we have as you remember we have this text field here uh, it says type the font size here okay so I added a change listener okay so when I type the new size of the a size of the font the font will change to its size to this one here okay as you can see and this is the line of code that I'm using with the object field which is a text field and using the text property I'm adding a listener a change listener and inside the method change when the and um, the text property or the text inside the text field changes I'm adding that number here here to the to the to the font to the font size as you can see here in this line okay the logic can be different okay, it depends on you it depends on on how what's your programming style okay so that's it so that's how you invoke methods with the with the menus okay and i hope you like this video and see you next time thank you for watching this video and please don't miss the next one because we're going to learn how to uh, use and create context menus so please like subscribe and share and see you next time